think we have to be um, very honest and very clear on the fact that the women's situation, in, in humanly speaking, um, can even be said to have a certain tr tragic element insofar as her vocation to motherhood may actually exclude her ability to exercise and live her other gifts and talents. Okay, we, It's good if a woman can try to combine these. It's good if society helps a woman maybe do more than just be a mother or the husband is understanding and helps her to be more than a mother. But she has to be very clear if she chooses to have a profession that there's, there's some things that the mother provides that nothing and no one can substitute. The woman needs to be aware that since motherhood is the highest vocation, it should really be the center of gravity for her soul. And uh, there, there are ways of doing that, so it's primarily a, um, a question of, of, of where her heart is centered. If her heart is centered on the home, uh, then she, she will be able to be faithful to her vocation to motherhood. Our society makes it very difficult for women to be mothers, um, even just because of the image of motherhood being so degraded. So women become ashamed and they say, I'm just a housewife very often. So what do you do? I'm just a housewife. <laughs> okay. So, um, and this is something that um, the, sort of the, the enemies of God are very interesting and pro interested in promoting because that really the seeds for the destruction of the family are found in the denigration of the concept of motherhood so that a woman um, somehow feels that as though her worth is degraded by that. So um, what, what can she do about that? Uh, it's very difficult. I think the main resource really has to be prayer. Uh, she, she has to um, get her identity from her relationship with God and with Christ. And there has to be time set aside, there's no way around that, where she contemplates uh, the glory of her vocation. They need to see the glory of their vocation. What they're doing is laying the foundation for the temporal well-being of the human soul and the eternal well-being. <laughs> so what, what can be greater than that? It's not going to be easy because all the forces within society militate against that. Okay? And uh, of course, this isn't something that she can do, but of course hopefully the husband also helps her see and recognize. And she can reach out to him, she can ask him, can you support me in my motherhood? And some, some men do it naturally, some, some men don't. But I think that can also be a very important resource. Another thing is for, for women, to, um, I think, to get together and, and discuss this issue and support each other. Okay, and, and it's, a, it's a, actually a beautiful opportunity for a woman to experience her dignity apart from what society tells her she is. She, can, she needs to, in some sense, craft her own identity through her relationship with Christ. So if the mother is looking at the child and saying, you're my joy, I love you, I'm happy you exist. It's worthwhile. It doesn't matter what you do or, or, or how you behave. You're received unconditionally in love. And this is now the child, the human being, having its first communication of who it is to its soul. And that's really the foundation now, the, 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 the backdrop against which now all of its undertakings occur. So as it emerges into life, as it so makes, relate, enters into relationships, has friends, uh, starts looking for its own mission in life, its vocation, how it's supposed to serve others. All, the seeds for this are all planted by the mother in, a, in the most strict and literal way. And so a woman has to understand that the way the world looks now in large measure comes from what mothers are doing in the secrecy and the intimacy of the home. So when the seed is planted, it's a long time before we see it come up, right? And then we, oh, we so rejoice over the, over the leaves and the blossoms and so forth. And people generally ignore the roots that are down there that are at every moment taking the nutrients from the soil and the absolute condition for this growth to take place. The mother's work never disappears. It's starting the day with a little meditation, even if it's only three minutes when she first opens her eyes on her with her head on the pillow, a little meditation on the, the, the meaning of, of life is being really love. They say it's not just that love sweetens life, 
No, it's the condition for life.